Hello, welcome students. Now this class we just discuss the week number four, fourth problem. That is nothing but a lion CD measuring eighty mm is inclined at an angle of thirty degree to HP and forty five degree to VP. So the X and Y in both direction. Are, horizontal and vertical plane the line kept in a inclined manner okay with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane so both is inclined the point c position of c they are specifying it's 20 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp so draw the projection of the straight line so previous case is just uh, only it is inclined with one plane now the line which is inclined in both the planes let us draw one reference line x y and this may be vertical plane and horizontal plane right so here in this problem it's clear that the statement it is uh, point C is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. For example, this point let us see this is C, this is D. Okay, this is the point C, it will not change, it will not change. Okay, so it is. 20 mm above HP and when you are seeing from top it is 30 mm in front of VP okay right oh, this are two key with that we just going to draw here let us mark first C the 20 mm above HP you can able to see in the vertical plane right so let us mark that one and 30 mm in front of VP, you can able to see in the horizontal plane. So 10, 20, 30. So the point C is fixed. I can connect. So let us let us see here. This is C dash and this is C. So let us make a parallel line. Let us name. Usually these are all the reference line. Previously it is not required. Hence I have not drawn. It will be on the book. So this we can say locus of C dash. This is locus of C. So with this reference only we just going to draw the line CD measuring 80 mm is inclined at an angle. So the true length this is true length is 80 mm right. Uh, it is inclined 30 degree. Let us draw the inclination line with that only by making a rotating angle method angle method we could finish this problem so let us make 30 degree angular line it's supposed to be 80 mm the length of the line is 80 mm surely I may not be having this one so let us mark here up to here it is 80 mm let us write here true length so this point is not D it is D1 dash it is not D okay let us write it is D1 dash so here in another angle which is given 45 degree to VP so whenever there is a VP angle you can able to see in the horizontal plane so here I am just making 45 line
Okay. Let me show. So when you are marking it, the same two length. Luckily, I'm having space. So this is known as a D two dash. So when you are projecting this point to another locus C dash. and after that if you are rotating that point you will get the apparent distance of edge d and d dash for example i am dropping the vertical line or i am extending that line point d2 to towards c dash similarly this is one line okay this you can this you can specify d2 dash this is d2 sorry this is d2 this is d2 this is d2 dash similarly you are uh, drawing a erecting a vertical line or dropping the line towards the another locus this is known as a d1 so it's simple to locate the point d and d dash okay so you just rotate the line so now you you can understand this is a point of locus of d let us draw to similar line sorry for the inconvenience so this is a locus of d d dash this is the locus of d okay so anywhere the locus of d means the point d will be here and similarly point d dash somewhere here so for that we need to rotate the line the rotating the line you just keep c dash as a center d2 as a radius you draw the line it has to go like this it touch it touch the locus of d dash hence we can specify that is d dash and similarly you have already erected you keep this is not a c dash okay so this is you keep c as a center d1 as a radius you rotate that point so it's intersecting in the point where in the locus of d so this point is known as a d so connect c to d in a order line bold line and can connect this to okay this is a cd line okay if you are keeping the scale these two supposed to be parallel you can check see d and d dash if you are dropping a line this will be similar this will be parallel so this is a rotating line method to draw the cd measuring 8 mm length when you are keeping like this with respect to horizontal with respect to vertical see with respect to horizontal uh, Uh, 30 degree and with respect to vertical 45 see the line is here with respect to horizontal is 30 with respect to vertical is 45 this only you just going to look this apparent length only you will look you just drawing as cd here we are projecting cd and cd c c dash d dash c and d this projection only so this will be when you are rotate when you are rotating the horizontal plane this c dash c and d dash d will be in the parallel lines that's what here so the exactly we have drawn the apparent length 
reduced length if they have asked the question what is a reduced length you just measure and you specify uh, likely in this problem it is not asked this c d and uh, c dash d dash reduced length sometimes they may ask so we can measure and then we can show thanks